Hey guys, it's Rachel, and today I'm going to be talking about my favorite books of all time. Um, but before I get into that, I just want to mention a couple things. One, ignore the glare. Two, uh, ignore this shirt. It's not very cute, but I had to wear it to a band competition today. So I didn't feel like changing because I've been up since 4.45 this morning, and I'm tired, and I'm still filming the video. And I'm going to see. Does that help any? Hmm, that's kind of distracting, I guess. But I'll just get up a little closer. So I'm going to be talking about books for, uh, for all, like... There we go. It's kind of dark now, but for all different ages. So the first book is actually a book series, and this is just the first one from it. But I loved these books when I was little. And it is the Janie B. Jones series, and this just happens to be the very first book. And these are by Barbara Park. And these books are just so good and so great for little kids. They're easy reading, and they have pictures in them. And these are just so good. I have, like, the entire series because, you know, I'm, you know, five noisy okay so my next book is a great book about friendship so this would be a great book to your friends and it's called the english roses and it is by madonna and isn't it funny someone the person actually gave me this book um i'm not friends with anymore <laughs> isn't that funny how that worked out um and this also is pretty easy reading and it does have pictures as well and I really, really like that book. Um, another book that isn't so much for little kids, but um, more in the uh, preteen, teenage years, um, would be Justin Bieber's um, First Step to Forever, my storybook. And this book is really good. It does have a few bad words in it, but um, here and there. But overall, I really, really enjoyed this book. And this one also has tons of pictures, and I'm pretty sure it has more pictures than words. But yeah it was good everyone loves pictures so my next book is also a good book for i think teens more or and preteens i guess and it's called i tell you i love you but then i'd have to kill you and this is a very good book about a girl that goes to a spy school and i really like it and this is by ali carter um but this book is really really good and i really like it so set this over i'm just like starting a pile over here um so another book um is that is really fun and it is a uh kind of goes along with the harry potter series and it's harry potter the tales of beetle the bard and if you've ever seen the uh harry potter seven part one movie um you will know that dumbledore leaves this book to hermione and it's a wizard storybook and it's really really good i think it's good just kind of uh and depths you into the movie a little more, um, if that makes sense. Um, but I really, really like this, and I like the stories, and they're really fun. And, I mean, you could read these stories to little kids as well, so I really like that. Um, yeah, so it, with the Harry Potter theme, um, the Harry Potter series in general, I would definitely recommend. I love Harry Potter. If you ever meet me, you will know that I'm one of the biggest Harry Potter nerds you will ever meet. Um, this just happens to be the first one, which is really, really good. And, yeah, these are by J.K. Rowling, if you didn't know that. If you didn't, you probably live under a rock. Um, but, yeah, I love Harry Potter so much. I was actually just having a conversation with one of my bandmates about Harry Potter earlier today. So, next is um dear john which is by nicholas sparks and if you've seen the movie and you've read the book you will know that the book is 10 times different from the movie i actually prefer the book over the movie um and i made the mistake by seeing the movie before reading the book but yeah i really really love this book and i would definitely recommend reading it okay so next is a book i'm actually reading in school right now and i actually have to do homework on it tonight and it's called anthem um, I've not yet finished it, but I still wanted to talk about it. It's by Anne Rand, I guess. Um, and this book is very different. This is definitely a upper level reading age, I guess, um, because of its confusion level. It is probably the most confusing book I have ever read, but at the same time, it has a very good storyline. It's pretty much a book about a society where everyone is equal, and there is no I. It's a we. You live to serve your fellow brothers and sisters. It's, it's no, I want to succeed for me. And it takes place around a um, guy named Equality, um, 72521 or something like that. Um, and pretty much he is 
extraordinary compared to all of the other people. He's tall, he's smart, he has a desire to learn, and, um, yeah, it's, it's good, it's just confusing, so if you're up for a challenge with understanding a book, then this would definitely be a recommendation. As you can see, this is a very old school book, but she said she would let us keep them, so I've been writing in mine to help me understand it a little bit more. And actually, this is not the full book. There are notes in the back of the book. The book um, stops, like, right here, so... It's not, this is not the whole book, so just random extra stuff that was not necessary to put in here. So my next book uh, is definitely for more of the upper teen level into like adults because of its language and things, and it is Kardashian Confidential, um, which I think I've mentioned in my Christmas haul. Um, I love the Kardashians TV show, I watch all the spin-offs of the show, and I love the book. It's really, really good, it's really entertaining, and it, it definitely keeps my interest, so I really, really enjoy this book, and if you like the Kardashians, I would definitely recommend reading this, and even if you're not a huge fan of the Kardashians, I would still recommend this book because you can kind of hear and understand their story a little bit more. So my next, whoops, my next books are another book series, and I wanted to save these for last because I am so freaking excited because the movie comes out tomorrow, and if you don't already know what I'm talking about, yes, I am talking about The Hunger Games, and I actually don't have the first book to show you because I lent it to a friend, but I'm going to have the other two to show you, which um, a lot of people either say they don't like the second one or they don't like the third one, but personally, I loved all three. I, I, I loved all three of the books. And um, I'm so excited for the movie to come out tomorrow, but unfortunately I won't be able to see it until Monday. Um, but I'm just so excited. If you, if also, if you know me, you will know I, I'm a bit um, obsessed with with the books. Um, just, just a little bit. Some of my friends call me Katniss. So here is the second one, which is Catching Fire. And the first one is just called The Hunger Games, and it's by Suzanne Collins as well as this one. And then this one, the third one is called Mockingjay, which this, uh, whenever they make the movie of Mockingjay, they're splitting it up into two, just like they did with, um, Harry Potter and just like they did with Twilight. Personally, I think that's just a way for companies to make more money, but that's just me, but I'm happy about it with The Hunger Games and with, I was happy about it with Harry Potter because, um, you know, more movies for me to love and enjoy. I'm not a Twilight fan. You'll also know that about me if you ever meet me one day. But yeah, so those are some of my favorite books. So I would love to know some of you guys' favorite books. So comment below what your all-time favorite books are. Um, or if you just want to pick one, you can just comment below with what your all-time favorite book is. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.